Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Hope you are doing all right. I haven't been doing anything related to landscape photography for almost a month. There is a stay at home order in Colorado and it, it just been extended to April 26th. So I won't be able to get out until at least April 26th. All national parks have been shut down. It's really a difficult time for shooting landscape photography since you can't get out. So. I decided to make a couple of videos on processing software and today we will be taking a look at Lumina 4.2 uh, which is a new update to Lumina 4 which adds a new feature called um, AI Augmented Sky and today we are going to take a look at this new feature. Alright, before we get into the video I just want to mention that if you are interested in Lumina 4 you can use the coupon code MING during checkout to save $10 and there is a promotion, a sale until April 14th that you can get uh, Lumina 4. Combined with my coupon code you can get Lumina 4 $25 cheaper than its normal price. Alright, without further ado let's jump into the video. All right, now I'm in Lumina 4.2 and this is the first photo we were going to take a look at. And as you can see, the, the sky is pretty empty. So you can go to um, library, uh, actually go to edit and go to the second edit panel here and go to AI sky, um, AI augmented sky. This is the new feature introduced in Lumina 4.2. And let me show you. You can select something, for example, if you want to show Aurora, then you select Aurora 1. And unlike AI sky replacement that replaced the entire sky, this AI augmented sky basically it adds a um, transparent object on top of your original sky. So in this case, it adds this Aurora on top of the original sky. And I can do balloon. And of course the balloon doesn't look very natural in this case. You can add clouds, you can have egos. And what I find, I really like this uh, moon one. I think it works very, very, very well with this image in this empty sky. You can click on this place object and then you can move this object around and then you can resize it. I want to make it bigger. All right, how about that? Okay, and then um, also you can edit mask. If you want to edit the mask further, you have the option right here. Okay. All right, so this is before and this is after. So we just add a fake uh, moon into the sky, but it, overall I think it looks natural. It matches the uh, the color tone with the rest of the photo. All right, this is the second image we're going to take a look. So the, for this image, I already have foreground, middle ground, and the sky is overall a little bit empty. And I just want to add something into the sky to make the overall image pop. All right, so I can go to this AI augmented sky and then click on object selection. And I think planet two, works the best. I think I like this the most. And I can click on place object and then I can drag the box. Maybe that's a little bit too big. Put it right there. Um, and then you have a couple options. For example, you can control amount, amount 100, which means it's 100% visible. You can reduce it, uh, which means um, amount zero means it's 100% transparent. So I want to, I want, I, I want to set it to one, 100, and then warmth. You can change if it's on the, uh, if it has warmer colors or if it has cooler colors. So in this case, I want to make it a little bit warmer, so that it has the contrast with the blue sky, and a relight. Basically, it. It, it tries to match the color of the object to the color of the sky and the, and the ground as well. Um, I don't think I need it that much. Let's just do 15. And then you have a couple other options like mask refinement. If you want to, like apparently that is for refining your sky masks and 
you have the slider defocus. If you make it 100, then your object is totally blurry, and I don't like that blurry, so I'm gonna um, just set it to something like five, maybe. All right, six is good enough. Let's move on. And then you can also edit the mask using a brush, a gradient mask, a radio mask, luminosity mask, etc. This is before, and this is after with the object in the sky. So I think it actually uses the same technology, the same method to detect the sky, and then you just place a single object instead of replacing the entire sky. So that's the new feature introduced in Luminar 4.2, AI Augmented Sky. Forgot to mention that this AI Augmented Sky feature also allows you to choose your own image. So if you have something, if you have some object that you want to add to the sky, you can choose that object from your library. All right, before you go to the comment section and say, hey, this is too fake. Yeah, I admit that this photo is fake. It looks fake because no one can see planets like, like this planet in the sky. Um, but then I think with the correct object and the appropriate foreground, middle ground to support the object, I think um, there's a chance that you can create some photos that uh, looks very natural. For example, if I go back to the first photo, instead of using this big moon, because there's no, you can't see a moon like that. If I replace this moon with something like Aurora, I actually think Aurora looks very natural. Like, like apparently this is Colorado. You can't see Aurora from Colorado, but if you take a photo from Norway, but then you, you didn't get the, the Aurora when you were there shooting the photo, but in the post, now you can add Aurora into your photos. You can probably click on pay, uh, click on place objects, and then maybe you can rotate it a little bit. I don't know, you can make it, how about that? You can make it longer. And then you can lower the opacity a little bit so that it blending with blending to the original photo better. All right, that's before empty sky, that's after with a little bit of Aurora. I think with the correct foreground objects that you can create a credible sky. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Again, if you are interested in Lumina 4, you can use the coupon code MING during checkout to save $10. And I hope to do more videos on processing software such as Lumina, Capture One, Photoshop, etc. So yeah, until next video, stay safe.